Warrior Nun starts off gruesome, gory, and doesn't waste any time getting you immediately enticed. And although the 10 episode series keeps you entertained all the way through, it does get very complicated. So here's what went down on Netflix season one of The Warrior Nun. Ava is a young girl who becomes quadriplegic after an accident. She then dies after the nun that was looking after her poisons her. But Ava gets an unexpected second chance at life when she's laying dead in a morgue and ends up getting an angel's halo inserted into her body. The halo ends up bringing her back to life. She can walk again and she now has unexplained superpowers. Ava has no idea how or why this has happened to her, but she decides to make the most out of this new life. She meets a boy, makes friends, and does everything a normal young adult would do. Meanwhile, the church is doing everything in their power to find Ava because she isn't the rightful owner of the halo. It belongs instead to the Order of the Cruciform Sword, a group of young nuns that are following a 1,000 year old tradition to protect the halo. And and if the halo is to get in the wrong hands, it could end up benefiting hell, damning humans and civilization. At least this is what was explained by Holy Father Vincent. Once the church gets to Ava, they explain she needs protection from the Tarask, a demon-like figure that is trying to take her halo. Ava begins training physically and mentally in order to properly use the halo and be God's champion. However, Ava struggles to become the warrior nun they need her to be and even manages to leave the holy quarters. But as fate will have it, she returns to work alongside her warrior sisters. Now let's talk about that ending. In the show, the Halo's origins were explained. The legend was that an angel by the name of Adriel gave Ariella the Halo after she was about to die in combat. He was portrayed as someone who saved her soul, thus Ariella created the Order of the Cruciform Sword. But in the end, it was discovered that Adriel, who was locked in a tomb below the Vatican for the last millennia, was not an angel but a devil and a thief who had stolen the Halo in the first place and he only gave it to Ariella to protect himself. And the warrior sisters also discover that Father Vincent was working for him all along. And I did not see this coming at all. I'm usually good at spotting the heels, but I truly thought Father Vincent was a good guy. The final scene show Ava along with her sister warriors ready to take on Adriel and Rafe demons. But then it just ends. It literally just ends. I was even waiting for like another episode to come on, but then I was like, oh no, I'm already on the 10th and final episode. So the last scene we see is Shotgun Mary and she's ready for action. She's ready to go into this battle. She heads forth and then the demons sort of just like go on her and then she just disappears underneath them all and then it just ends. I'm gonna say that even though I'm excited to see what happens next and I know that season two is gonna kick off with a bang, I do not, do not like the fact that it just ended like this. I kind of felt like maybe we need a little bit more and I get it, I get the suspense, but I was kind of just, I didn't really feel like it was a proper ending. And now we have so many questions. So as of right now, obviously Netflix has not said there's gonna be a second season, but uh, there are so many questions, so let's just jump into them. So a few of them are, and I guess you can say the big ones are, what is gonna happen to Ava? You, she's just getting, she's just sort of getting a hang of being this warrior nun, but what is gonna happen to her? What's gonna happen to the warrior sisters? And who the hell? Did Adriel steal that halo from? Who does it even really belong to? I know there's several theories out there, but of course we won't know until we move along further with, with the series. So that's what's happening with Warrior Nun, but let's go ahead and talk about some of my favorite characters of the season. First off, I love female-driven shows where the lead is sort of in a self-discovery phase, and we just know that Ava the Warrior Nun is bound to become a badass female powerhouse. And I just gotta say that I loved Elba Baptista in the role of Ava. She was so authentic and I can totally see her becoming one of my favorite actresses. Secondly, even though there was a lot to follow on the show and a lot of things that are still left unanswered, I thought showrunners did a great job at really making the action scenes entertaining. There were so many moments that just had me fully engaged. Aside from Ava, my favorite character was Jillian Salvius, who is the woman working on a quantum portal to another realm. I thought the interesting part of her story was not the fact that she was going head to head against the church, but on how she was so adamant to find a bridge into the afterlife in order to protect 
protect her son who was dying. You can't help but feel her desperation in order to stay connected to her son. I still think we need a bigger explanation on what exactly was going on with her son Michael though. I also thought that Shotgun Mary and Sister Lilith were incredible in their roles and I hope to see more of their backstories incorporated into season 2. Overall, I thought The Warrior Nun was pretty entertaining and kept me all the way through and even though I liked it, I'm not going to go as far as to say it's the best show I've ever seen or it's my favorite show ever because it wasn't, but I did like it and it didn't disappoint. But what did you think about season 1 of Warrior Nun? What did you think of the beginning? Beginning, the middle, the end, the ending. Uh, what characters did you love? Who would you like to see more of in season two if there is a season two? Go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. Plus, guys, please show my channel some love. Give this video a like. It really helps the channel grow. And as always, if you guys want more pop culture videos, more TV recaps, and so on, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you guys want to chat more with me about The Warrior Nun or any other TV show or anything else, go ahead and hit me up on Twitter or on Instagram at underscore Denise Salcedo. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day, everyone. Bye!